Today we're going to fix P0069. We can tell we have a problem. Our map sensor is reading 92. Wall. The bar is reading 104. It should be reading 92, maybe 93. So we're going to replace that sensor. Got it right here. It's different from the map sensor. cover and pause it here and just wiggle this to get it out. Uh. This is it. What is it? Eight, eight millimeter for these. Quick disconnect. Also, there's a plug right here. This pulls straight out. Don't twist. There's another one here. I already had that one disconnected. I don't know if you can see it it's right there. I disconnected the vent. It's a real pain. It might break. Here's your eight millimeter right here. Then you just wiggle this out of the place. There's a stopper right there. Right there. I mean, this looks it's kind of hard. I have it swapped, slightly twisted up. And that pulls straight, straight out. There you go. It's out. As you can see, the throttle body is clean. It's brand new. Disconnect the throttle body cable from moving your way. Don't forget to reconnect this. This is also near the MAF sensor. I also replaced the air filter, it didn't fix the problem, so we're gonna fix this. There's a held tilt on by a little clip. And there's a screw right there. It's a seven millimeter. I'll get those off. I'm using a flexi. I got it as it's yours for ten bucks. Let's see. Let's it move easily into the space. You don't really need it, but it's recommended, optional. See, you don't have to take the screw all the way. I already pulled it out. Okay. Got a new one in. Don't forget to reconnect the throttle body. I broke my cable. It's broke. in there.
the hard part is getting this back on. Sometimes it doesn't like to go in the its place. So, I'm gonna use two. See how it's tilted? It's tilted slightly up. Push in. Push it down, right into place. See, it goes right into place. And then you reconnect that back to there. Reconnect your power. See if it works. Also, don't re forget to reconnect that vacuum line right there. <laughs> We're going to compare the map sensor to the borrow sensor. It should be 92. See right there, 92. Before I was getting 104, and we're not at sea level, so we should have 92. 104, that's sea level. Used to cause excessive revenue with this rep to like 6,000 RPMs. It was crazy. But let's give it a start and see how it goes. Let's see. You look at that. Started up smoothly. It didn't even rep to like 2,000 RPM like it did sometimes. Yeah. There's our oil pressure, temperature. It's good again. It's idling smooth. It used to vibrate really, really bad. But we'll know once it heats up. Um, signing out. We're having a, a problem at 10 miles an hour where the car would shake violently. See if we can get it to do that. Oh, it went into all of a sudden. There you go. There's the engine. Why not? Small road. Nobody's here. It was usually at 11 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, it would shake. The RPM would just drop down to 400 or so. Let's see if we can reproduce that. I thought it was the transmission going out, but I knew it was an engine problem. Because it would only do it when it was... It didn't do it in auto stop. Auto stop, the engine's off, it's running on an electric motor. So... Only did it when it was running on the engine. It was getting about 20 miles a gallon, 22 on average, sitting in the highway. But it dropped down around 16 on average for the last several months. Seems like we couldn't get that to happen. So you can always see. Wait. Average economy 16. See? 16. We're gonna check the auto, see if it's shaking. It's already warmed up a little bit. Let's, let's stop right here. Well, yeah, it's smooth. I can't even feel the 
SUV shaking or anything. Buttery smooth. We'll put it in park and go out to the and you can see it's that's when I'm gonna open the hood. See that? Buttery smooth, not even shaking. I like to point out I replaced the spark plugs and the wires as well. So See, auto stop, we say gas. 20 miles a gallon. Sometimes I get 26 if I take the back roads. The best I ever done was about 30 miles a gallon. It's, I know it's insane, but. Let's see. Let's see what else do I have to add? We were having a problem when we had the AC running. Once, probably after like, 20 minutes of driving, it'll, it'll just rev up when you try and go from like a stoplight. But I think we, we might got to fix I'll update it if we, if it doesn't fix it. It might be this battery in the back, a hybrid battery, but I haven't had any check engine lights for that. Only the cooling system, they complain about the cooling system. But the fan works, I checked it. Yeah, we got the Navi system. Well, let's see. Got a dash cam. You know, just in case sloppy drivers. Sheep insurance, to put it. But the downside is for it on a dash cam, it could prove that you were at fault. So there's upsides and downsides, I guess. If you don't drive sloppy, then it's not a problem. Well, the idle smooth. It's working good. Hopefully, we can get our gas mileage back again. I run premium gas only on this 91. That's probably why I've been getting 26 to 31 on the highway. So, if I run 87, I only get 18.5. Makes sense to pay for the extra 30 cents. It's the difference between like 15 cents a mile per mile instead of 20 cents a mile. So, makes sense when it's working properly, anyways. Yeah, it gets the ash crack and that one too. Normal. That's all I could think of for now. So, 